Hi everybody, I'm Philip Duncan. Thank you for joining us as we track yet another low coming in from the Tasman Sea. This is it here. Now it is not overly deep, not when you compare it to the big systems down here in the Southern Ocean, which is indicated uh, by the blue-purple colouring. So you can see there's a bit of sinking air pressure there, another bit of air pressure over here that's dropping. So this is all sort of low pressure moving into the country, and this is a giant high out to the east there in the white colouring, uh, showing just how large that one is, and that's going to block and hold up this area of low pressure. So this is Thursday's setup. The low starts out here around the Chatham Islands, stretches over the North Island, and all the way out to the Tasman Sea. It has two centres. One is there, the other is to the east. Neither of them are very deep. Uh, but they are both working in tandem to produce a wet airflow. So there are showers around the uh, eastern side of the South Island. It turns more to rain as you head towards Cook Strait, and then back to showers again as you head further north. A little bit cooler for the south on Thursday, fairly mild in the north. As we head towards Friday, again, the winds are pretty light in the north, so there might be some isolated foggy areas for some. Uh, generally speaking, the wind flow is a light nor'wester for very northern areas there, comes down and around that low, comes back into these eastern areas and central parts like Cook Strait as a colder, windier, east to southeast wind flow. Again, showers around Canterbury, so hopefully we're not dealing with anything too serious. And then it turns to rain as you go further north, spectacular lovely weather over on the west coast. Now we get in towards the weekend, Saturday, low pressure around the North Island delivers more of the messy forecast. You know, there are some areas of rain around the east there, more patchy showers and large dry spells for everybody else. And of course, the winds are variable going around that. And then there's the other low down here, mostly out at sea, but still driving in a bit of a cooler southeasterly flow around Canterbury. Otherwise, it's pretty calm. And then we get to Sunday, where high pressure is dominating much of the South Island. It might be a bit frosty even in the morning. In the north, it's quite different. You've got a stronger southerly or south easterly airflow that could make for sunny weather over around Waikato areas but as you can see out to the east still a fair bit of low pressure but waiting in the wings next week we've got a mixture of high pressure and windy westerlies coming back in because it is spring after all at least on the meteorological calendar and don't forget our poll on our homepage asks when do you celebrate the end of winter is it going to be on Thursday which is the meteorological end to winter or will it be the astronomical one the solar one or just what Mother Nature says. So go and vote on our poll now. We'll update you again tomorrow with the very latest for the weekend.